Good morning, YouTube. It's opening day for Fall Bear. So, here we are again. Going to our other designated area. My parents wanted to come up here, so I brought them up here. So, I'll probably go to, if you don't see anything today or don't get anything today, then we'll go to where we usually hunt. But, yeah, it's hot. It's December 2nd, and it's going to be a high of 90 today. So, got up here a little later than we wanted, but it is what it is. Late night. So, hopefully, me, my dad, or Jamie, hopefully, one of us shoots a bear today. So, just gonna hike up this road and glass. So, I'll let you guys know. Yeah, uh, shoot anything or not. As you guys can see, I just missed my first grouse season. That was horrible. <laughs> I wasn't meant to die today, so it's alright. We'll hopefully find a few more later. I saw one earlier this morning, but the chain was too slow, so I <laughs> wouldn't get to shoot that one. But yeah, so far, nothing. No bears. It's all moose about it. It's getting hot. It's about 9 o'clock right now. And uh, we're just, we moved to a different location. Just classing this hillside right here. Still a lot of smoke up here so it makes it kind of hard to see. But we're going to stick it out and we're going to Hunt all day, so hopefully we uh, find something later. Yep, wish us luck. I want a 500-pound black bear. Goals. Gotta set them high. So you won't be disappointed when you shoot a 80 pound bear. Where? Where? Where is it? Third, or the farthest. Turn to the right. Uh huh. It's the top of that tree, like it looks like that tree ends. You want binoculars out first? I can't see it. Is it is you seeing your scope? Not anymore. Huh? Not anymore. No. I haven't even hit that camera. Come around this way. looking right at us. See it's sticking out its head? Oh yeah. Okay, shoot. Pop. It's gonna fly.
first blood of the year. Hold on, hold on. Look for the other one. Isn't that one? Yeah, there's two of them. There's two of them. I don't know where it landed, but there's two of them. One of them landed over here. What do you have to say for yourself? Yeah. First kill of the year. Let's go look for all the other one. Go get it. I'll come back and look for the other one. So, we just bumped two blue grouse and we finally spotted them in the tree. And uh, Jamie just put the tiny two hammer on it. So we gotta go look for it now. Oh, I found it. Yep. Right there. Okay, check it out. Should be another one. Good look for the other one. Dinner. You know, cook it up tomorrow night at camp. Good job. There's definitely two. I know that because I I saw both of them fly, but I only had a good angle on this guy, so I just kept an eye on him. Go over my gun. Grab, grab your bag. Looks like a young one. Still. Still. Spotted it with the uh, Razor HDs. <laughs> Alright, well, we're gonna look for the other one. Get some pictures real quick and then we'll look for the other one real quick, see if we can find it. That's that tree, that little black spot right there. There's like two of them right there. This one? The big one?
Old update, we just got done cleaning our three grass that we shot and uh, we plucked them, gutted them. We ate lunch and uh, we're gonna do a little timber pounding. Let's see if we see anything in these uh, shaded areas. So, yeah, it's about what, 3 30 right now? It's pretty hot, so. We're gonna see anything, we're gonna see them in here. Yeah. Thick shaded wooded areas. So work our way around here and uh, see if we see a, a black bear. Today is day two for our fall bear hunting. Yesterday we just got three grouse and that was pretty much it, so where we went home yesterday and then packed stuff and came out today. It's about 3 o'clock. It's late, so we're just doing an evening hunt. But uh, yeah, we're going towards where Jamie shot a bear last year. So I'm going to timber pound, make our way down there, and uh, see if we find anything. It's hot, it's like 90, 95 or so today. And uh, there's a fire up here on the surrounding area, so it's very, very smoky. So we thought that going into the thicker stuff is our best bet. So that's what we're gonna do. And we're geniuses. We forgot our 22, so we'll be strictly hunting bear this weekend. A lot of flies, that's for sure. Hopefully we find something, and hopefully we get something. So, wish us luck. Dude, look at that. Five yards. That's what happens when you don't have a 22. This one right there, and this one right here. Going closer. It's like literally five yards. Pretty cool. Dude, look, I'm right here and the grouse is right there. Pretty cool. I could literally catch him if I probably wanted to. Oh, there she goes. That one's probably the mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've never seen human before. Alright, so we didn't see Jack today. So now we're, we made it back to the car. We moved to our camp location. And we're cooking dinner. This is my favorite way to cook grouse. We just killed this one yesterday. I'm gonna let it simmer for a little bit and then so I'm gonna add some lemongrass, green onion, cilantro, and dry chili pepper. Just let it simmer. It's gonna be awesome. Anything hot when you're out here is 
delicious. Oh yeah. It's Jamie. And there's the truck. Yeah. It's gonna be good. Alright, there it is. Just about done. I'm gonna eat and go to bed. I'm tired. We'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, people. This is Monday. This is Labor Day. And I just spotted our first bear, but it's far. It's a good sized bear, actually. Let me get the phone scope out and see if, uh, Get him on film. Just so you guys know, he is up here somewhere, right in the middle. So, yeah, we're just gonna get some footage of him real quick. If I can keep them in the scope. And then we're gonna make our way over there real quick. Well, it's gonna take us about an hour to get up there, but I think they're gonna, he's gonna stick up there for a little bit. So, we'll see. All right guys, now we're just trying to think of a game plan because it's super steep on the hillside that he's on, and uh, the only way to get up there is either go below him or above him, and that just depends how the wind works up there. The only downfall is that it's super steep, so if you're going above him, you can barely see like 20 yards in front of you. So have like little, it's like little ledges all the way down, and if you go below him. It's the same thing, the bushes are going to be tall and seeing him from below is almost impossible. It's going to be a close shot, that's for sure. So We got to make our way around there. Once we get over there, we'll play the wind, see how the wind is and uh, we'll see if Jamie can get it done or if I have to, then I'll shoot. It's a good bear. It's a, from this angle. It's a good sized bear. And it's black. So, pretty excited. I haven't shot an actual black, black bear in two years. So, yep. It's kind of hard to see, but. Like right in there. That's my hunting partner. Bumming out. It's not it's perfect. So he's far. That is far. That's like just a straight shot. That's like a mile something. But we got further than a mile to go, so we're gonna go. See if we can make it happen. I'll put my GoPro on once you get up there. Yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. 
that's what happens when you don't bring the 22 across everywhere. Watch, we're going to tree this guy right now. Three blue girls. They would have all been dead if we had our 22. 